And here's Ernie Els, also at the fourth. Yeah, one of the best bunker players in the world. Wouldn't expect this to be too far away. Tough shot, though. But no problem for the Big Easy. Such good hands. To go to two under for the day. Well done, Ernie. Lovely up and down from that front left trap. He starts with two birdies the first four holes. Ernie House for par. Mr. Green, poor chip. This is left for his three. Oh, go on, you beauty. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful stuff from Els. Certainly has got his putting stroke back. Changing his grip to the Qatari style putting grip. Put to, what, five or six degrees loft in his putter, I think that is? Yeah, I do so well. No, no, absolutely. I believe in that. Par putt at number 11. Oh. He hit the putt well. He hit it where he aimed and uh, just chose the wrong line. Let's see if he can get to seven under par. Yes. And he can. Four birdies on the card, couple of drop shots in there. For Eagle on the 14th hole. Oh! If he's birdied 14. Look, he was playing at 174 yards today, the par 315th. Effort, effortless. Be right. The big easy and it's right, all right. Oh, and fantastic shot. Always hard to get it the whole cut right in the front of the green. Only seven paces in there and four from the right. Everybody's going a little backwards and he's moving forward. Yes, Ernie. Three in a row for Ernie Els. If we can tuck it in close here, make another birdie. It's going to get interesting. Oh, yes, and this hole today is 19 paces into the green, five from the right. Left each other a long way back. Over the water. Only just over the water. <laughs> Look at that flag there. Oh, there's still plenty of fire in the belly of the Big Easy. This one's uphill in with the wind behind it. So give a bit of a hit. But he has been good so far today. This has got a chance. Ah! Oh! He's found another one. <laughs> Four in a row for Ernie Els. Ten under par, two off the lead. Would you believe it? Uh, well, well, well. Front of the green, nine paces in. Oh. Just got it down over the hill. So a long, long cut left for Ernie. At 17, that coming down one is a very mean turn position at a shopper. Yeah, they must have been looking really good in the air. I think we're going to see that all day. An important part for Ernie Els. After four straight birdies, for par at 17. Yeah, and this now, let's watch the stroke. Yeah, a couple of paces. Left hand below right, cutting into the left wrist. I think possibly inside right. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, I, I would have thought he was like him. I thought that might come a bit from the right, and it didn't. Sounded good. There it is. Come on, up you come. Up you come, you little know, yeah. Fantastic shot. From a long way back from any else. Well, that's about as good as he can do from there. No, oh, Ernie. Just got everybody all excited and then there's a rather tame finish off. A glorious shot up the hill to this final hole too. Yeah, after four straight birdies, I'm afraid it's two drop shots in a row to finish the round, but still a 68 for Ernie else in these conditions. 
too bad. Five behind at the moment. This must have been a very, very special day for both of you. Absolutely. I mean, we took some pictures on the uh, first tee uh, from our private cell phones to get it on record. Uh, really special. I mean, I think as time goes on, we'll reflect on this day and uh, I definitely I will. I will know that it was very special. I mean, he's still a pretty youngster and might not settle in with him, but uh, knowing the kids since he, since he was absolutely before nappies, you know, and now playing the South African Open is very special. Yeah, well, obviously this has probably been one of the quickest rounds of golf ever that I've played. Um, I wish it could have carried on the whole day, you know. For me, it was a dream to be able to play with my uncle one day, you know. doesn't matter where it is, and especially at the South African Open, it's really, it's an honour. And, you know, I really enjoyed it out there, and we just had such a fun time. And you both must have been pleased because you both played well. Yeah, we did, absolutely. I mean, obviously I've, I had a very frustrating finish at the end there. Jovan finished very well. But yeah, we made quite a few birdies, you know, we, we birded just every other hole uh, between the two of us in the yeah. front and quite a few in the back. So uh, it was a tough day, but I felt uh, Jovan really kept it together. Um, he's playing for the Freddie Tate and you know, I'm trying to win the Open again. So <laughs> it was a big day, but we enjoyed it. And of course, his name's on that Freddie Tate. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm fully aware of that. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, no, it's been, obviously it's been a goal of mine to be able to just make the cut, you know, first of all, at the South Africa, at the Open, and, um, you know, to tick that box off, first of all, is, is, is great, and now we're playing for the, for the real deal. So, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and pleased with my round today. Um, yeah, it's going to be, should be a good, good day tomorrow. Do you feel like you spurred each other on as you went around the course? Yeah, definitely. I think, I mean, I buried the first and Jovan buried the second and the third. I got the fourth and I think he got the fifth. So, I mean, yeah. we buried a lot of holes on that. Yeah. So, yeah, we kind of uh, dovetailed off each other. It would have been a great baseball. I can yeah. promise you that. It was probably about a 62 in baseball. So, I think uh, many birdies and, you know, it was great to see my sister out there and draw a gun, uh, caddying for, for Jovan, you know, uh, and as parents, they must be so proud. And uh, as an uncle, you know, just as proud. To watch another European Tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.